Fairy and Folk Tales. Story 2. The Little Mermaid. Poem 6. Adrift. In came the air into newly formed lungs. Back it went out in a blast. Serena opened her eyes and saw new legs, she was absolutely aghast. She felt them with her old hands and found smoothness like her skin. No longer scales and fishy tails. No longer rainbow fins. She touched the bottom of her feet, and then screamed out in pain. The needle feeling the witch had told her of had quite a powerful sting. Then she heard a voice as clear as glass, calling out, Miss. Miss. She looked and saw Prince Silas and two guards riding toward her, and everything was bliss. He dismounted immediately and came to her side. Miss, are you all right? She opened her mouth to speak to him, but her mouth would not comply. He looked in her mouth and saw the blood, coating the inside. She must have been attacked by pirates, and left at sea to die. God saw fit to save this one. Whatever she needs, comply. They lifted her onto the prince's land horse. Very different from horses at sea. And they rode her back to the prince's palace. What joy Serena had to be free. Author's note. We've had some progress, story warrior. Analytics are beginning to climb slowly but in a very steady and predictable way. I've also had a few opportunities to tell stories at my church, and I'm beginning to have time to work on motion comics as well. All is looking up. Also, I've moved what used to be a fairly closed community, the brood of writers wonder brood to our own gilded server. We have things there that you'd normally find in a Discord community but also some incredibly exciting features such as collaborative documents, video uploading and streaming, and more. Check it all out at joshuadavidling.com and God bless.